Today I'm going to be shading this little muffin guy here with some half tones. To start with that, I'm going to shade the entire muffin man using gradient. You can use any of the gradient tools you'd like and then we're going to apply the effect to him afterwards. Now with the gradients all set up, I'm going to select all the shapes to apply my effect to. In the appearance panel, I'm going to go to this little FX down at the bottom and under Photoshop effect, I'm going to go down to pixelate and I'm going to select color half tone. It's going to pop up this little window right here and first thing we want to do is make sure that all of our channels have the same number. This will make sure that our dots are pure black. Next, we're gonna set the max radius. The bigger this number is, the bigger your circles are going to start at the darkest point. I'm gonna start with 30 and see how that looks. I actually really like the size of those, but as you can see, they are going from black to white and covering all the artwork. So the next step is to go back into the appearance panel, click on opacity, and go down to multiply right here. Once that is selected, it will get rid of all of the white and leave you with just your pretty dots. Now that the white's gone, if you've decided you do want to change the size of your dots, you can always come back into the appearance panel, click color halftone, and either raise or lower this number. I'm going to lower it a little bit to make the dots start a little bit smaller at 25. So there you go. That is a halftone shading effect, all done within Adobe Illustrator. No textures or outside plugins required. Hopefully that was helpful. If you like what you see and want some more art and design tips, be sure to stick around.